So what is up guys, Soon to the Savage back and here it is. Super Bowl 54 prop bet predictions. Now, this is a video I'm always looking forward to and I'm always looking forward to making prop bet predictions. And I'll show you the practice I'm using this year. Things. This is the, these are the two that I'm using, one for the casual fan and one for the hardcore fan. Now, I actually am in a pool and uh, we are and we're just doing the casual fan, but we've hit triple digits in the amount. This one I also decided to fill out just because I wanted to fill out some more questions. But anyways, um, enough about that. We have a lot of prop bet predictions to get to because if I counted correctly, I have about 41. So it's going to be a long time. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, without further ado, let's get this video started. All right, so where else will we start this video without our very first question, which is, of course, the national anthem. Now, this is one of the most debated questions that you get. It's either that, uh, who wins most yards, halftime, and some other questions but this is of course what we start off with so the question is total time for Demi Lovato's national anthem over two minutes or under two minutes now that's a very tough one because I'll explain to me I'll explain to you what I consider the rules of the anthem to be from the second the singer says oh to the final time you can hear brave that's how long the anthem is it's not when the music starts it's not when the music ends it's right as she starts singing to when she stops so honestly, it's a tough one because um, most of the time the anthem is usually under two minutes. Most of the time the question is, will it be over uh, a minute 40? But honestly, I think Demi Lovato, she's going to milk it. She is definitely going to, uh, what I mean by that is, I think she's going to definitely hold those notes for as long as possible. More notes for as long as possible. Because most of the time the anthem, when the singers hold their notes, they hold it near the ending parts. But I think for her, she's going to hold these for as long as possible throughout the entire anthem. And most of the time when I'm watching the anthem, I'm always screaming, slow down, because I really want to get over that two-minute mark. And anyways, the next, there's actually another anthem question, and this is, who will be the first quarterback shown, uh, Patrick Mahomes or Jimmy Garoppolo? Don't know. It's a, that's a dumb question, but I think Patrick Mahomes is going to be shown first, because don't forget, the Chiefs are the home team, and he's definitely a bit of a more marketable quarterback. He's kind of more quarterback that you would expect to see first. He's the more popular one. They're not gonna. It's like if you were to show, say, say it was um, Patriots versus Rams this year. You would obviously show Tom Brady first. You wouldn't show Blake Bortles because he's a backup. It's kind of like that. It's kind of who's the more whoever's the more popular quarterback is going to get shown first. Next one is what will be the outcome of the coin toss, heads or tails? Now this one is complete 50-50. Honestly, most of these questions are kind of luck-based, but um, this one is just a straight 50-50. There's no guessing what it's going to be. I know for the past years it's kind of leaned more towards tails, but this year I'm going to play the odds and say it's going to go more towards heads. And the winner of the coin toss will be the Chiefs. And then the next question is, which team will score first? And that is, I'm going to say the 49ers, because the Chiefs, they will win the toss, but they will defer the ball. So the, I say in the San Francisco 49ers will be the first team to score. Now the next question fun thing is uh, what will the first score of the game be touchdown field goal or safety now um most of the time it starts out with a touchdown or a field goal but there's only been apparently there's only been three times in super bowl history where it started out with a safety that was super bowl 46 super bowl 48 and i don't know the other one but anyways uh, i think jimmy garoppolo he's gonna take the team down the field but be unable to lead them to a touchdown so i think robbie gold is just gonna boot it right through the uprights and first score of the game is gonna be a field goal Next one is, will the game be tied after 0-0? Honestly, th these teams are going to be trading blows all night long. It's going to be mainly a back-and-forth competition. So in my opinion, I'm going to say, yes, it is going to be tied again after 0-0. And I'm going to say it's going to be 14-14, because I'm going to say Chiefs score two touchdowns, uh, 49ers will kick two field goals, and then score a touchdown with a completed two-point conversion. Anyways, next question, will there be a penalty in the first quarter? Come on now. That is maybe the worst question that actually shows up on this list because, honestly, it's football. The odds of a flag not coming up in a game is near impossible, and in a quarter is highly unlikely. So, obviously, there is going to be a penalty call in the first quarter. And then the next question is, who will be leading at halftime? Um, you can either go Kansas, San Francisco, Kansas City, or neither. So, honestly... I'm going to say that the 49ers will lead at halftime. Not by much, though. Not by much, because this is going to be a very close affair. All right, and now we move to the next part of our prop bet predictions, and that is going to be halftime. So, uh, 
Yeah, there's uh, six halftime questions this, which to me is a little excessive. I, to me, honestly, I think there should be one or two, maybe even three at the most. But I think it's because there's two people performing. It's the halftime show is being done by Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. I'm Shakira. And uh, honestly, uh, it makes sense why there's going to be a lot of questions because um, there's mo there's two people they're combining to do it. So, anyways, first question is, what will J-Lo's perform first get let's get loud on the floor live it up get it right or other now i don't really know jennifer lopez or shakira i don't know really any of their songs like i know a couple more uh shakira songs than i do jennifer lopez songs so honestly i'm just gonna say other for j-lo and then next we got uh what song will shakira perform first whenever whenever dare let's horror waka waka or other now honestly um the only song that i really know out of this is waka waka and honestly i feel like that's a good song to finish it off with. Not exactly the greatest one to start the crowd off with, but I think Waka Waka is the most popular out of all these songs, so I think that's the one that you got to finish with. But honestly, I don't know what's going to be, so I'm going to just say other, because like I said, I don't know either J-Lo or Shakira. Next is, will Alex Rodriguez be shown during halftime? Now, I have no idea why he's even in this prop bet prediction, so I'm just going to say no. Next, will Enrique Iglesias make an appearance during the halftime show? Honestly, I don't know who I don't know who that is, so I'm just gonna say yes. Uh, how many wardrobe changes for J Lo? Two, uh, three or more, or two or less? Honestly, it's halftime show. Depending on who you are, and uh, honestly, I think there is going to be a ton of costume changes or wardrobe changes for J Lo. So I'm gonna say yes. She's gonna go three or more wardrobe changes. Uh, next question is, uh, will, and the final one for halftime is, will J-Lo show butt cleavage? Now, that one is a rather controversial question because, uh, oh, God. <laughs> My friends and I, we talk about this at school and says, what counts as butt cleavage? Do we see a little bit of it or do we have to see the whole thing? I think most of us agreed that you just gotta see a little bit because it says, will she show butt cleavage? To me, that's kind of, the question to me, it's kind of vague, but I think it kind of leads to more, will there be a little bit of butt cleavage that J-Lo actually shows? Uh, I don't even know if she's known for showing her butt, so this, oh god, this is, it's a rap, it's a funny and yet weird question, I'm gonna say that J-Lo will show butt cleavage, I'm gonna say yes. Alright, the very next question is, um, total number of players to attempt to pass, three or more or two or less. Now honestly, what I've seen this NFL season is that teams don't exactly tend to throw, like, I mean, other players that are on the quarterback. I mean, 2018, that was a huge trend of players throwing. 2019, that trend is definitely decreasing. I mean, 2017, it was down. 2018, skyrocketed. And then 2019, just <clears throat> kind of went back down. So, honestly, with the, I mean, both these teams, I kind of see what their game plan is. Uh, pit, uh, Chiefs are going to be a pass-first offense, and then the 49ers will be a run-first offense. So, honestly, um, total number of times to, for a player to have the pass, I'm going to say it's going to be under three. So, it's going to be two or less. Anyways, next question is, uh, which quarter will be the highest scoring, first, second, third, or fourth? I think, um, to be honest, I think the first quarter is going to be kind of like, I mean, first half, I think it's going to be probably, I'm going to say, 17-14 uh, for the San Francisco 49ers. And then I think, uh, you know, the Chiefs still score a touchdown, regain the lead, but then the fourth quarter is when it all goes down. I think the fourth quarter is just like the end. Um, and that's when all the scoring is going to happen. Anyways, the next question is, will there be overtime? Now, don't forget, only one Super Bowl out of 54 Super Bowls has gone to overtime, and that was Super Bowl 51 between the Falcons and the Patriots. That game went to overtime, and honestly, it's overtime's not that much of a common practice, so honestly, no, this game is not going to go to overtime. Anyways, uh, will the team that scores last be the one that wins? Yeah, I think uh, the Chiefs, well, they're my pick to win, the Chiefs will get the last touchdown of the game, and of course that'll be the one that wins the game. I'm going to say it's going to be a Patrick Mahomes, let's say 62-yard pass to Tyreek Hill as he blazes down the field for the game winner. And of course the next question is who wins the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Chiefs. And there was actually a question earlier that I did not answer, and that will be will the team that wins the coin toss win the game? And I said yes, I'm going to say that it's going to be the Chiefs. I'm going to say because San Francisco, they're going to be the away team. And they are going to select tails, and it's going to end up heads. Chiefs are going to win the coin toss, and they will elect to defer. And then one of my favorite questions that they always ask for a Super Bowl prop bet, what color Gatorade will be dumped on the winning coach? Now, here are the options. Clear slash water, red slash pink, 
yellow slash line slash green, orange, other, or none. Now, the only time I remember there was no Gatorade dumped on the quarter on um, the winning head coach was Super Bowl 51, but that one went to overtime. But honestly, to me, whatever team you are, like whatever your main colors are, that kind of depends on what Gatorade gets dumped on you. And since both these teams, their primarily primary colors are red, I'm going to say red is going to get dumped on uh, either Andy Reid or Kyle Shanahan. Anyways, next is uh, who will the Super Bowl MVP be? And I'm going to say it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Now, the options are Pat Mahomes, Jimmy Garoppolo, or other, because, you know, in the Super Bowl, quarterbacks are the ones who tend to win uh, MVP the most. Now, every once in a while, you will have someone else win it, like Super Bowl 50 was Vaughn Miller, Super Bowl 53, it was Julian Edelman, and Super Bowl 48, it was Malcolm Smith, Super Bowl 43, Santonio Holmes, and the list just goes on and on and on and on. But honestly, of course, the trend does go towards more quarterbacks winning and even if the 49ers win, I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get it. I think, of course, he's going to be carried like he did in the playoffs. Or maybe, to me, Jimmy Garoppolo might experience uh, the Jared Goff effect, which 49ers fans should be concerned about. Because take a look at Jimmy Garoppolo this postseason. He's he's averaging 103 yards a game. He's throwing a touchdown and a pick in those two games. And honestly, he's been carried by his running backs and his defense. So honestly... You know, he'll look good in the regular season, not do as well in the postseason, but then the Super Bowl, there is the chance to have the Jared Goff effect, which is completely falter in the Super Bowl because you're young and you were not ready for that experience. You just weren't ready. But honestly, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to play a great game, but I don't think he's going to win the Super Bowl. And then the next one is who will the Super Bowl MVP thank first. Uh, now, I don't know if anyone, I don't know if Patrick Mahomes is religious. I mean, that kind of goes into it. Like, is he Christian? Does he believe in God? Uh, so the question, so the options are God, teammates, family, coaches, other, or none. To me, I'm leaning more towards God and teammates, but a lot of team, a lot of people kind of go towards God. So I'm going to say he's going to thank God first. And then the final question is, will President Trump congratulate the winner now? This one also did hold a bit of a conversation between the people I'm doing this prop bet with, just because we wanted to talk about what, like, how long should he give how long should we give until he congratulates the winning team? I think we said maybe about an hour, but I think Trump is going to congratulate the winning team nonetheless. And then we have our tiebreaker question. What do you think the final score is going to be? Like I said, this is going to be a high-scoring affair, but to me, I think the final score is going to be 35-31 to 31 for the Chiefs. All right, and now we are moving on to our second prop sheet. So some of the other questions, this one's for Super Bowl 54 props, the hardcore fan. So anyways, let's get started out with our very first one. Uh, what will the first play of the game be? Will it be a pass or a sack? Now, here's the thing. Most of the questions are very similar to each other. There's some that are similar, so I'm not going to include those again, but there are some that are different, so I'm going to answer those ones. So what will the first play of the game be, pass, sack, or run? Now, because I said the 49ers are going to win the toss, I think what they're going to do, obviously, Kyle Shanahan's going to do that run-first offense. Raheem Mostert will definitely be the first one to run it. Uh, the next one is, will there be a score in the first drive of the game? I did discuss this earlier, and I said yes. San Francisco is going to get the first ball, uh, score first, and only score a field, and only kick a field goal for the first score of the game. And then the next question is, will who will who which player will be the first one to score a touchdown? Now, this one was actually a fill-in-the-blank. I got to pull this in, but I said Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey has been a beast this postseason. 13 receptions, 164 yards, and three touchdowns. He has been Mahomes' go-to guy, especially in the game against the Texans. He was his go-to guy. And then you have our very next question. Will the game be tied after 0-0? I think I already answered that one, but I said yes. And then here's the next one, which is an interesting one. Which will be the first penalty that gets accepted? Will it be false start or offside, pass interference, holding on the offense, or other? Now, this one is a very tough question. So, honestly, I'm going to say it's going to be... Uh, holding, because the 49ers, they're going to get the first ball, and I think they're going to get a holding penalty for one of the runs, which to me is going to lead to the field goal, because they're I think they're going to be in Chiefs territory, have a prime chance to get into red zone, but I think that one holding penalty is going to hold them back of getting that first touchdown and get to that field goal. So they all kind of like work together. Anyways, next one is, uh, will, will a team score within the final two minutes of the first half? Yes. I think the Chiefs, I'm, I'm sorry, the 49ers are going to score within the final two minutes of the first half, just enough so that they can take the lead. 
Next will be, will there be an onside kick or fake field goal slash punt attempted? Honestly, both these teams, I see them being aggressive, but I don't see them being... I To me, I see them being aggressive only when need be. Now, if you, if you remember back in the divisional round, uh, Chiefs versus Texans. Texans had a 21-0 lead. Fourth and inches on the Chiefs' tenth. They decided to kick a field goal. Rather conservative. I thought I would have gone for it, but honestly, I would just take the points. And then the next question, and then pretty soon, right after, they would actually, they, it was like fourth and four in their own zone, on their own 20, and they decided to do a fake punt. So honestly, both these teams, I think, I think the Chiefs have learned that the Texans are pretty bad when going for it. So I think both these teams, they're going to be very aggressive, but not towards fourth, not towards faking it because they know the consequences. They should honestly just take the free points because they're going to need it for this game. And then we got, uh, will defensive or special teams touchdown be scored? Honestly, no, because I feel like most of the teams, most of the kicks, they're going to be called for fair catches and touchbacks. And honestly, uh, for special teams, this is going to be an all-offensive battle. It is going to be absolutely insane on what happens in this game. All right, moving on to our very next question we have. Uh, what will the first turnover of the game be? Interception, fumble, or none? Now, honestly, I was thinking this is going to be a highly offensive battle, but honestly, I think there's going to be one defensive stop, and I think it's going to be an interception. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get picked off by the Honey Badger. Who knows? Anyways, uh, then the next one is, will any scoring drive take less time than the National Anthem? Now, I say yes, because I know the Chiefs. It's going to be the Chiefs. Like, <laughs> It only took them 10 minutes to erase a 24-0 lead. And uh, honestly, most of the time when they had the ball during those four scores, they did not have it for long. So honestly, I think there's going to be like maybe one or two big connections between both these teams. And that's going to basically be just a very quick drive for either side. So honestly, yes, I do think a scoring drive will take less time than the Anthem. And don't forget, I have the Anthem going over two minutes. So that is definitely an interesting call. And then you got our very next question, which is, who will have more passing yards, Jimmy Garoppolo or Patrick Mahomes, minus 100 yards? So basically, I have to choose. Uh, will Jimmy Garoppolo have more? Now, what I, what that actually means is that will Jimmy Gar will Patrick Mahomes have more passing yards, but you have to subtract 100 yards just to keep it fair because, of course, Mahomes is going to outsling Jimmy Garoppolo unless somehow something really bad happens. But anyways, of course, Patrick Mahomes is just an absolute gunslinger. And like I've been saying this whole video, San Francisco, they're going to go with a run-first offense. It's definitely going to be way less focused on um, passing. I think passing is only going to have to happen when they need to do it. Because when you, what you saw against the Packers, the 49ers, they didn't even have to pass the ball. They literally ran the exact same play for the whole game, and it was enough for them to win. The, fuck, I mean, I don't get how the Packers couldn't even stop that. They were literally running the same play. as well. If they just ran blitz the whole time... They could have easily cracked the 49ers, but they didn't. So, honestly, um, that's why I'm going to say Pat Mahomes is going to have more passing yards, even though we have to t get rid of 100 yards. And then next, uh, who will have more yards from scrimmage, Raheem Mostert or Damian Williams? Uh, that's a pretty easy question. You know, Raheem Mostert has definitely proved himself in the last couple of games. Now, of course, like I've been saying, Damian Williams, he is no... Kareem Hunt. The, and my biggest problem, why I'm not going on Damian, why I'm picking Raheem Mostert over Damian Williams. Damian Williams is a guy that can either get three yards in a carry or less, or he'll break out for a very big, for a touchdown. So honestly, that's the thing. And we're even including yards from scrimmage. So that also includes receiving yards. So even though Damian Williams, he does get a decent amount of receptions, but the problem with him is that they're very short and they're most of the time they're most of the time he gets them, he's just running them in for a touchdown. Like, catching it and running it in for a touchdown. Most of the time, within 20 yards. So, honestly, that's why I'm not going to be humdrum and go with Damian Williams. And so I'm going to stick with Raheem Mostert. Next is, uh, who will have more receiving yards, George Kittle or Travis Kelsey? This one's a no-brainer. I'm going to say Kelsey. Now, George Kittle is an absolute beast. This is a battle of the tight ends. But, of course, like I've been saying the whole video, San Fran, run first offense. Kansas City, pass first offense. Kelsey has been uh, Mahomes' go-to guy, and it's just gonna prove it's gonna prove me right that Kelsey's gonna have more receiving yards. Then it'll be who will have more sacks, Bosa or Clark. And also, I have to mention about Kittle. Most of the time in the playoffs, he hasn't even got that many receptions because most of the time he's been playing blocker, just so Raheem Mostert can explode and he's done a great job of that. 
Anyways, like I said, back to it. Next question. Uh, which will be greater, uh, total touchdown passes or total sacks? Honestly, like I said, this is just going to be a, a gun show. It's going to be a goddamn fireworks display out here in Super Bowl 54 in Miami. So, honestly, total touchdown passes is definitely going to overshadow sacks. Like, I think each team's going to get four set up. They're going to combine for uh, four sacks. I'm going to say three from the 49ers, one from the Chiefs. And then we move on to who will have more, which will be, who will have more sacks, Nick Bosa or Frank Clark. I want to say Nick Bosa on this one. Nick Bosa is more of a beast than Frank Clark. It's just not that hard. Uh, then, of course, over or under 53 points scored, 53 and a half points scored. I said uh, over because don't forget I have 66 points. Same question about the Gatorade shower, except they did actually include blue as one of their answers. I don't think it's going to be blue. Like I said, it's going to be red because both teams, their primary color is red. I mean, the 49ers, to me, I think they have two options. Either they're going to go with red or yellow, kind of just to resemble the red and gold. And that is going to wrap up my video for today. And I almost forgot to mention uh, the head coach narratives for this Super Bowl. So the narratives are, what's going to happen? Will Andy Reid win his first Super Bowl? Or will Kyle Shanahan redeem himself for 28-3 to and win his first Super Bowl? Because don't forget, back in 2016, he was the Atlanta Falcons offensive coordinator. And he was, to me, the main man behind their demise because... Him and Dan Quinn, their play calling was absolutely horrid when they were up 28-3 to because they called for, like, absolutely no passing. They called for way too many passing plays and not enough running plays. But anyways, enough about that. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see last year's Prop Pet Predictions video, if you want to see my NFL postseason predictions video from this year, and if you want to see me completely ripping the Saints for the complete shit show that they played against the Minnesota Vikings, all the links to that will be in the description below. Uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what else you want to see. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, at Savage. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace.